G'day, welcome to the channel. Rod here. Thanks for tuning into the Pedal Picassos once again. Um, you'd be forgiven if you thought this was a show on a modulation pedal. It's the Fender Mirror Image Delay, which offers some real modulation um, variety in it. There's no arguing that Fender have played an incredible part in the development of electric guitar and amplification and effects uh, for 70 years plus. In getting into this series of their, their latest um, effects pedals, it's like, okay, well, what are they, what are they going to be bringing to the table? Because um, there's so much variety and so much on offer out there. And I thought, okay, yep, a delay pedal. What are we going to get? Um, well, what you get with the mirror image delay is versions of digital delay, analog delay, and tape delay. Um, the ability to add dotted eighth notes uh, to any of those varieties, doubling effects and and modulation. A really cool feature also, there's a couple of cool features. There's lots of cool features, in fact. Um, you can have the LED lighting switched on and off for the controls, uh, for the knobs, you just switch them off there, you can switch them back on. Uh, that's really cool on dim lit stages so you can recall your, your, um, your settings. You've also got uh, dry kill option as well on another switch and uh, if I can switch that off whilst we or switch that in um, the dry kill you can use if you've got this this pedal inserted in an effects loop on an amp and so you're just getting the effect that you can wind into your effects loop with no dry signal at all so that's really giving you an indication of the uh, modulation on tap for this thing so I've just got us um, uh, running into Fender Blues Deluxe with a Shure FM57 on it, straight into the door. This is how it is clean. Mexican Strat. Uh, so let's go into the digital delay settings first up. Now there's two variations of, on each. Um, this first digital delay setting variation one gives you um, the ability to bring in a, um, a triangle uh, wave uh, with no filtering for modulation. So I've just got an indication there of the type of chorusing you can get out of this with the delay time turned right down. So the controls across the top, depth, rate, feedback, time and level. I've got the level maxed out here to give you an indication of given a real um, obvious uh, indication of delay. So in digital delay uh, setting one, you can get between 20 milliseconds, barely indistinguishable, until you bring up your feedback, which is the amount, the amount of repeats you're going to get. Let's clock that and then add some depth for modulation. And there you go, you're getting almost on the verge of flanging, but definitely with some chorusing effects there. And let's max out the rate. So you can really get an indication of that wobble. Okay, but this is a delay pedal, right? Yeah, okay, good. Let's turn our, our depth and rate down. Now you can get to really short uh, digital delay settings on here. Sort of slapback stuff. If you want that, you might do that with an analog or a tape because it's so pristine. But what you get is up to a second, it's 0.9 of a second in fact, uh, according to the spec sheets of delay. In the Variation 2 mode, this shortens our delay time considerably. So maxed out, about, I don't know, 100, 150 milliseconds, 200 milliseconds, but all the way back down, doubling. And that's what this variation is. So the digital delay 
Variation 2 is a doubling effect to give you the effect of two guitars tracking. And you can increase that, that delay time. Add some modulation to it to give that effect of two guitars playing closely together. Not quite in tune, right? So you're getting chorusing. It's that really short, really short delay to give that that mimicked effect of two guitars playing very close or double tracking live. Spatially spread with two amps, really cool with some distortion. Wind that out a bit and you've got a short delay again. By adding the um, dotted eighth note switch into this, it's to give the effect of triple tracking. So there you go. And you've you've almost you can almost dial in sort of reverby style delay with this. Really short room stuff. So that's, that's the digital delay side of things, and that's just one of three um, delay settings. We'll move on to analog. And you can already hear that, that degradation uh, of the signal of the delays by switching to analog. So you're going to lose some of your top end, some of your bottom end, and it's just going to squish a little bit. Yeah? Once again, you can wind in some um, some depth modulation. For some really complex, complex, complex delay, I had the dotted eighth note um, selected in there, but go back to um, having it just the straight analog variation. So you're getting that pitch modulation in there as well, which is lovely. But this is a delay pedal, right? Yeah. So winding out our modulation. Really short delays, getting into, into slap back territory. All the way out to some longer, longer uh, analog delay settings. Once again, about 0.9 of a second. So that's analog variation two because I left it switched like that first up, um, and this provides the most degradation um, of the signal. So that's really uh, exaggerating this granulated grainy, dirty, analog delay. Up to variation one, and it's not quite. A lot more of your signal's still there. I really like
really like Variation 2 just for its gnarly degradation. Really cool. And of course you can add Dotted eighth note um, in analog delay with that real degradation. And then add some modulation to it as well. Very cool delay. Okay, so we've got one mode to go, and that's tape mode. It's a lot like analog delay, but it's trying to emulate, you know, tape-based delays. Um, with the degradation involved there, speed slipping, modulation, some glitches. So you can hear the random uh, modulation induced there, and you can have as much as you want. Very funky. The second variation of tape delay gives us more wobble, more saturation, and more bass and treble loss. Once again, you can add dotted eighth notes to it. And then with that randomness of tape degradation and, and wobble um, and mechanical wear. It's a great pedal from uh, Fender. As I said, there's no denying the impact they've made on um, on electric guitar and, and amplifiers and, and effects over, over decades. Um, what other improvements have they made? It's rugged um, aluminium housing. It's solid. Um, the knobs feel really good. Switches are out of the way and protected by the knobs. You've also got, um, it's a magnetic cover plate for fast access to the battery. And that is just such a cool idea. I'd like to thank Ken and Michelle from Port Lincoln Music World for lending me the Fender Mirror Image Delay so I could demonstrate to you here today. Hopefully it's not flashing and flaring too much. It is very shiny bright, anodized aluminium. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great bit of gear. Um, so thanks again to Ken and Michelle. Cheers. And I'm just going to have some more fun with it.
See you next time.